Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with ActiveMQ networks. Our viewer is facing issues while connecting to an ActiveMQ network, specifically when trying to forward messages between two ActiveMQ instances. Let's break down the situation. Our viewer has two scenarios. In the first, their application connects to ActiveMQ A, which then forwards messages to ActiveMQ B. However, they're experiencing a problem where ActiveMQ B does not respond, and ActiveMQ A isn't receiving any data from B. In the second scenario, when the application connects directly to ActiveMQ B, everything works perfectly. To add to the mystery, our viewer notes that while ActiveMQ A shows five consumers, ActiveMQ B shows zero. This discrepancy raises questions about the connection and message flow between the two ActiveMQ instances. So what could be causing this issue? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's analyze the issue you're facing with ActiveMQ. You have two scenarios. Scenario one, where your application connects to ActiveMQ A, which then connects to ActiveMQ B, and scenario two, where your application connects directly to ActiveMQ B. In scenario one, your application sends data to ActiveMQ A, which is supposed to forward it to ActiveMQ B. However, you're not receiving any response from ActiveMQ B. This indicates a potential issue in the forwarding process. One key observation is that ActiveMQ A shows five consumers, while ActiveMQ B shows zero consumers. This suggests that ActiveMQ B is not properly receiving or processing the messages forwarded from ActiveMQ A. To troubleshoot this, check the configuration of ActiveMQ A and B. Ensure that the forwarding settings are correctly set up and that there are no network issues preventing communication between the two brokers. Lastly, consider looking into the logs of both ActiveMQ instances. They can provide valuable insights into any errors or warnings that might indicate why messages are not being forwarded or consumed as expected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're having issues forwarding messages in an ActiveMQ network, it might be related to the network TTL configuration. By default, messages can only travel one step in the network. For example, if a message goes from point A to point B, it cannot return to point A. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The issue was with ActiveMQ B failing to authenticate when trying to connect to ActiveMQ A. The user didn't have control over ActiveMQ B, so the solution was to configure ActiveMQ A to accept the credentials from ActiveMQ B. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.